passionate about music. Endeps here with Andrew Hayden Smith, our special guest here this morning. Morning. Last time you were here, you were telling us about a film that you were going to be in, but you, that you didn't have the money. What's what's the score yeah. at now? Uh, it's called Fallout, and it's a it's a it's being billed as a post-apocalyptic rom-com oh. uh, with <laughs> myself, Cherry, and Daniel Boyce. It is actually very funny. Right. And. Um, yeah, we were asking for funding, and now we found it, and we're shooting it in Amsterdam uh, later this month. Cool. And you, is it just a two-piece? Is it two, the two of you in it? Is that all? It's it's mainly a two-hander. There are right. uh, another couple of characters, right. um, but yeah, it's mainly a two a two-hander, and we're stuck in this war bunker. Uh, we're ex-boyfriends, <laughs> and it's uh, we're oh, sparring it like between us. Hell, it just sounds yeah. like so you hell. and Daniel Boys. That's, yeah. that's great casting. That is. <laughs> it's great casting, but what a situation to be in. Oh yeah. Pretty get a stress rush thinking about yeah. that can I read some tri- tweets that have come in mm. Golden Gate time phew that conference call ended just in time to hear Andre Smith beautiful Geordie voice on Gaydar Radio and he sent us a picture of him listening which <laughs> is beautiful uh, Kay Carpenter just seen the Andrew Hayden shot Andrew Hayden Smith panto shot which is the one with your shirt off he's asked us a question can you answer this sensibly please yes need to see that one is it wrong for a 41 year old to go and see a panto no of no, course, of course not. it's not it's fun for all the family. Yeah, 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 exactly. you know, age, it's behind you. Mark Florentine says, can you please ask Andrew if he has ever been in Harry Potter's cupboard in the Newcastle Eagle, please? Is that a euphemism? I'm so scared. Is that... Oh, dear. So, anyway, moving on. <laughs> if you've got a question for us, um, send it into at Gay Radio. Gary, uh, Gary on Facebook, because we put the photo of um, the... Uh, <laughs> The, the panto photo of it. Uh, such a cutie, Andrew, and that voice. Uh, Stuart says, "Oh, no, they aren't." Oh, I see. There's a there's a panto yeah, reference. Yeah. Uh, Lee <laughs> says, "Core blimey geezer, mate." Wolfgang says, "Mint." Yeah. And Gary <laughs> says, "Bagsy, the one in the middle," which yeah. is you, Andrew Hayden. <laughs> what a shock! <laughs> so, yeah. What did I say? I said these would come in. I know. Yeah. What well, I said these would. You're, do it, do your fans get a little bit possessive and a bit stalky? Have they ever turned up at your house and gone, you know? No, oh, no, oh, no, it's all good no. fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who coming up. Yeah, Have it you is. had any phone calls at all about? Uh, no, I, I mean, I, I heard you talking about John Barrowman this yeah. morning. He said he's up for it, Desperate. but then he's up for anything, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> do you know he's a gay man? Do you know yeah, that? He's actually so. a gay man. I was shocked when yeah. I discovered. He's a quiet. Yeah. He's a very quiet, but he's I, a gay man. I, I think everyone who was involved in the show would love to come back for the 50th anniversary um, I mean I know I've seen Noel Clark talking about it as well I don't think he's been approached but um, some people keep it so hushed that you don't know until the last minute but I'd love to do it yeah. I don't think Russell T Davies is, is involved in it either um, but it would be brilliant if he was he's supposedly writing a sort of a new sort of queer as folk type of thing isn't it oh, there God. was some rumour oh you yeah that, that? well that was going to be uh, an American uh, thing called Cucumber mm. oh I and, don't like uh, the sound of this Andrew <laughs> oh my God I think I've seen that DVD <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure what's happening with that now. I think it was for Showtime in America, right. um, which is huge yeah, yeah. Uh, for him. So I, I hope it does come off. It would be great. Did he particularly uh, cast you for that role in Doctor Who that you got? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I, I got my agent to give him a nudge, and he had said, um, oh, funnily enough, uh, I'd been thinking about you for this role. So um, he said, yeah, come in and read for Jake. Well, maybe he's got your mind for something else in the future, you never know. Yeah. Joe, I'm glad you finished that sentence off, because when you said, I've been thinking about you, it sounded a little bit weird. <laughs> if Andrew Hayden Smith, I'm sorry for talking to you in that in the third person, if Andrew Hayden Smith had Comte Blanche... Oh, get you! <laughs> uh, ...to make any TV show he could, what would you do? Ooh. What would you make? Well, my dream job would be like X Factor host. Ooh. Or Extra Factor. Yeah. I'll start, I'll start a bit smaller. <laughs> Put it out there, though. I'll, know, take, I'll take Extra Factor yeah. if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll work up to X Factor. Okay? Can you do the spin? Can you do the Dermot spin? Oh, oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Anyone could do that. Oh, do that. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, okay. that'd be good fun. Mm-hmm. So just remind us before you go, what, where, which, where's the panto? Where you want it? Uh, it's uh, the you? Broadway Theatre in Catford from the 15th of December till the 6th of January. It's going to be dead good fun. And I you're promise. giving us your buttons. Yeah, I'm giving you my buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't talk about it. Now I want a chocolate button. Now I want some food. Believe it. <laughs> Andrew Hayden Smith, always great to see you. About music.